In today's video, I talk about frumpy swimwear styles over 40. Some of these might surprise you. Hey, this is Netta Manley, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I help women over 40 feel confident in their style and have fun with fashion. So today we're gonna to talk about bathing suits. And I know bathing suits are tricky for pretty much every woman I know, but today we're really going to talk and focus on the bathing suits that I think can really make you look frumpy over 40. I'm doing another video, a separate video on the swim styles to choose, but in this video I'm really going to focus on swim styles and swimsuits to avoid over 40. So the thing to keep in mind is that a lot of the things that maybe we could pull off at a younger age um, really can start to feel a little off and you might put something on that was a real go-to and just kind of know that something is is not quite working about it for you but you can't put your finger on it. So I hope that these um, this list of swimsuit styles to avoid over 40 will really give you clues as to why certain things work better than others for you in terms of bathing suits. I think this is going to be a little controversial because I know a lot of women um, start wearing some of these styles over 40 and really feel like they've just become their new go-to or they feel like they're more flattering or they feel like they're more age appropriate. So just want you to hear me out before you jump to conclusions about some of these swim styles because I know that some of these are going to be controversial. So, okay, let's get started. The very first swimsuit style that I think you should avoid over 40 because it can look frumpy is the tankini. So if you notice that there are very, very few younger women really wearing the tankini styles that are available to older women. And that's because a tankini is just not really a contemporary look or a flattering look in most cases. So a tankini that looks like a one piece, but it just happens to be two separate pieces and, and well, can give you better fit options, especially if you've got a long torso, or if you've got a fuller bust, or if you're just trying to get that that perfect kind of custom fit, then go ahead and choose a tankini that kind of looks like a one piece. It's connect, you know, the, the top and bottom are the same color and same style, and it looks like it could be a one piece, but it offers you the custom fit of a two piece. I don't think there's anything um, frumpy about those styles. What I'm talking about are tankinis that are obviously tankinis, because for the most part, those are designed um, to look a little bit matrix. And it's a combination of the patterns, it's the cut, they're just not contemporary and they're not flattering for the most part. So I feel like these are the types of suits that you put them on and you instantly have like mom bathing suit vibes or grandma bathing suit vibes. I'm not probably even allowed to say vibes because I think I'm too old for that, but, um, but it does give you that feeling of um, it being a little bit of a matronly style. Now, of course, a, a 15 year old or 20 year old could wear a tankini all day long um, and look really, really cute in one possibly, but you don't really see younger girls for the most part choosing tankinis. They will usu usually choose either one piece bathing suits or two piece bathing suits. And so tankini is like that middle ground that is just really kind of hard to pull off over 40. So. Like I said, in a future video, I'm gonna offer you a lot of options that I hope are going to be equally flattering, but a lot more contemporary and a lot more stylish than a tankini. So that's the first swimsuit style to avoid over 40. The second one is any kind of a skirted suit. I know a lot of women are really conscious about their bum and their thigh area and really want to cover that area. So my suggestion, and again, I'll get into that more in that next video, but my suggestion is to really pick a cover up bottom that you love. It can be a pair of shorts, it can be a sarong, it can be one, you know, one of those beautiful uh, perios or sarongs that ties at the waist, it can be a maxi skirt, it can be a, a like a, full cover up like the one that I'm wearing here. It can be a number of styles and there are, you know, those beautiful flowy beach pants. There are a lot of ways to hide your thighs and bum or to just have that coverage when you're walking around. If you don't want to walk around with everybody, everything hanging out at the bottom, I totally get that. But a skirted style is not the solution. First of all, a skirted style adds volume. So the only people that really are flattered by skirted styles are people who have no shape in the lower half of their body. 
And even in those cases, you're going to find a lot of cuter alternatives to skirted styles. So that's one thing. The women that generally want to cover their thighs and bum are the ones that are not flattered by that skirted suit style. The other thing is that they are matronly. In a lot of cases, they can really, really be frumpy. So you know, there are, of course, exceptions to every rule. And I know I'm sure that someone's going to find a skirted style and it's like, well, what about this skirted, you know, suit? And it's possibly really cute and maybe contemporary and everything. But if you look at um, the, the swimwear brands that I feature in my swimwear catalog, which I will link in the description box, uh, they're all contemporary swimwear brands. They all have beautiful swimsuits that are well made, that are flattering, and you will not find a skirted suit on almost any of those sites so and there's a reason for that like I said they, they do tend to read frumpy or matronly or a little older and I don't care if you're 40 or if you're 80 nobody wants to look or feel older than they are or to look or feel matronly in my opinion so um, you you can have a lot of options to skirted styles that are going to give you that coverage that you love uh, without um, without looking frumpy okay so Oh, like I said, this is going to be controversial. Tankinis and skirted suits. The third one is the crazy printed bathing suit. I know that prints are forgiving. I love that prints are forgiving, but the, the printed suits that they create for women over 40 have dated, frumpy, garish, gaudy, oversized, and obnoxious prints. I don't understand why they do that, but they feel like as soon as you say you hit a certain age, you've, I don't know, maybe they think our eyesight is not, not as good as it used to be, but all of a sudden the suits are getting these kind of ridiculous print makeovers. And so avoid the printed suits that are especially from brands that cater to women over 40, because most of those suits are really going to have obnoxious prints. So instead, look for um, a, a print that is either really, really contemporary or stick with a solid suit. So you can't go wrong with a solid suit. It's always going to be elegant. It's always going to be flattering. And it's always going to, it's going to hold up more over time because this, the print is not going to date. But um, if you're looking for a print, just make sure that the print is relevant to what's happening and style right now. So look around at the clothes that are being offered in clothes, uh, and the, the, the prints that are being offered in clothes clothes and see if you can translate those to your bathing suits. You want a contemporary uh, print and a contemporary look. And that's really what differentiates swimsuit styles that are, in my opinion, that are flattering and not matronly and the swimsuit styles that are matronly and frumpy is that they don't look contemporary. So the, the again, that swimsuit uh, styles catalog that I've linked below is going to have some of my favorite brands, most of which feature prints, and most of those prints are going to be perfect. So avoid the, the crazy prints for women over 40. Okay, a blouson swimsuit is my next... <sighs> matronly swimwear style. I told you this was going to be hard, but any swimsuit with a lot of extra fabric. I've already talked about the the skirted suit, but the blouson suit is the kind that's got that, you know, extra almost looks like a blouson style top and an attached bottom. Um, and sometimes that comes on a tankini, sometimes it comes on a one piece, but any suits with a lot of extra bits of fabric all over them, um, they had bulk. They had bulk. They don't do what you think that they're going to do, which is flatter your body or hide a tummy or make you look slimmer or make you look leaner or make you look taller. They have the opposite effect. They really do add bulk. And again, it goes back to that contemporary factor. They're not contemporary. And when you wear something like a bathing suit that is dated and not contemporary, it just instantly makes you look older and less slim, less stylish, less flattered by that suit. And again, bathing suits are a challenge enough, right? It's challenging enough when we're looking at contemporary suits to find something that we love and that makes us feel beautiful. Why start behind the, you know, behind already from the start by adding a lot of extra fabric or again, going back to my, my rant about the prints or the, the crazy uh, obnoxious prints. Um, it's just going to set you back from the very beginning and you're going to have all that catching up to do to look contemporary and cute and stylish in your bathing suit. Okay, the next suit that I want to, to tell you to avoid over 40 is a boring mayo a boring one-piece style so 
I think one piece styles and clean, um, streamlined one piece styles are so flattering and are really the way to go for many of us over 40. So I love one piece bathing suits. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about really, really boring, basic, like a one piece tank bathing suit. Maybe that worked on the cast of Baywatch, but unless you are really, you know, doing something very athletic and very, very sporty, um, a basic solid tank bathing suit is going to just be uh, on most of us, right? You have to have an incredibly fit body um, and be really, really athletic to make one of those suits look anything less than just kind of blah, right? There are so many beautiful, um, strong one-piece bathing suit shapes with great lines and great detail and just um, just really elevated styling. And that's what you should be looking for when you look for one-piece bathing suit. Make sure it is beautiful. Look for some of the same details in your, your bathing suit that you would look for in your clothes. You want beautiful fabrics, beautiful colors and prints, great detail, um, contemporary shapes that are flattering um, and just a plain very boring one piece um, mayo style is just not going to do you any favors or and it's not going to really bring your personal style into your swimwear okay the final and I'm, I'm getting to the end of this now the final swimwear style that i recommend avoiding over 40 is an itsy 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 bitsy bikini Yes, there are women that at 40 can still wear an itsy bitsy bikini and look look beautiful and you know stylish in it. And if you're 40 and you look 30, go for it if that's your if that's your thing. But for most women 40 plus, definitely by the time we hit 50 or 60, um, then a little bit more fabric is going to be a lot more forgiving and a lot more flattering. So wearing a really really abbreviated bathing suit, it's not my thing anyway. But even if you know, I was 30 and super, super fit. Um, I would say that there are still more uh, flattering and definitely more modest, but more flattering styles to wear than something that kind of lets it all hang out, leave a little bit to the imagination. But over 40, I just feel like it definitely reads like we're trying too hard. Instead, rather than going for showing as much skin as possible, instead go for a suit that is more sophisticated, more stylish, more flattering than ever before. You want to cover up a little bit more without it looking like you're matronly or frumpy or like you're trying to cover too much. So you want a bathing suit that has support, that has style, that has beautiful details, and that is elevated and contemporary. Um, I, I've said those words several times over the course of this video but really that's what it comes down to is that you're really looking for suits that are contemporary that are flattering and that are stylish and none of the suits on this list really fit that description so once again just to recap i'm going to go over the the bathing suit styles that i recommend that you avoid over 40. the first is a tankini followed by a skirted suit followed by a suit with a crazy print um, a blouson suit or anything, any bathing suit that's got a lot of extra fabric on it, um, an itsy bitsy bikini, and a boring one piece. So I know that this, like I said, this is going to be controversial. I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback about this, but again, this is my opinion and my experience working with you know thousands of clients over the last 20 years. Um, these suits are just not going to do you any favors. So if you um, want to look for a sleek and stylish and flat swimsuit don't forget to check out my next video where I'm going I'm going to be talking about the suits to choose over 40 these are the suits that are really going to make you look beautiful that are going to flatter your body type and that are going to check all of the boxes so thank you so much for sticking with me to the end of this video I am so glad that um, you are here with me and I don't take it for granted one little bit so I would be so honored if you would consider subscribing there's a little bell next to the subscription button and it lets you know when I go live with or when I upload new videos which is every Tuesday and every Friday and of course, comment below. I know I'm gonna get some feedback about this video. I'm ready for it. Can't wait to answer your questions and continue the bathing suit conversation in the comments. Is there a suit that I missed that, that should be on this list, a frumpy suit that I completely forgot about? Let me know. Thanks so much. I will talk to you next time.